happy um let me see this light this light this light this light happy tuesday so it's 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 been a day it's been a day i'll say that much um if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber what's up how you doing um yeah let's get started Name is the case, pronounce the case, if you're new here and you're trying to figure things out. So I always bother my friends that I talk to all the time that they never give me a topic to talk about. And one of them sent me a whole list of topics on like a podcast that she's um, doing. And some of them are actually interesting. So the one I'm going to talk about right now is, I have it down here, that's what I'm looking down guys i almost failed this 75 hard yesterday i was this close this close to giving up but i didn't i conquered i was i, I felt so miserable yesterday so miserable but thank god that i conquered and i overcame and i did what i had to do um so this one is would you favor your child more over your stepchild that one that one really spoke to me because clearly i am a stepmother um to a wonderful boy um because i don't have children right now my answer is going to be i don't know because he's been in my life since he's been one years old one year old when he was a one year old yes shortly after he turned one actually and he's four now so it's been a total of three years since i've been in his life since he's been in mine um the one thing I will say, so I am in a couple of stepmom groups, and I think this question did come about like, do you love you? Do you feel like you love your child more than your stepchild or favor them more? So my thing is this. For now, I don't think I'm going to favor my children more. Um, there will be a difference. I will say that, but I don't think it'll be such a significant difference that David will feel like, oh, oh, she love her kids more than me. I think it's the fact that those are the children I actually birth. So it's, it's different and I will have them every single day versus, you know, just visits if that makes sense. So there's a certain type of attention that my children that I birth, cause I consider David my child as well. And when I do talk, I will say our children cause he's mine as well. Just cause I didn't give birth to the boy doesn't mean, you know, I see him any less than like, I don't make it a thing if we're in public and people assume that's my child. I'm not gonna be like, oh no, no, no. That ain't my, that ain't my son. No, if you think that's my son, then that's my son then. Like, okay. But I will like, you know, as he gets older, he knows who his... He knows who his mother is and he knows who his father is and he knows that very well. And he knows I'm just his stepmom. So if someone says, hey, is that your mom? He's going to say no. And then I'll be like, no, that's just my stepson, stuff like that or whatever. So I think there will be a difference between the children I birth versus David, but I don't know if I will pur purposely like, oh yes, I favor them. Because favor, oh, it's crazy because my pastor was just talking about favor. Um, dang, what did he say? It was, it was literally was right here. It was right here and it just went poof. No, you're not gonna talk about it. Um. 
Dang, what did he say? What did he say? Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Mm -hmm. See, but even the dictionary um definition of favor is approval, support, or liking for someone or something. And then the other definition is an act of kindness beyond what is due or unusual. And I don't think I would, I would make sure I treat them the same. I would try my best to treat them the same. Of course, every household runs differently and I can't control what happens at his mom's house, but I can control what happens here. So I know that when he's here, he knows that he will be treated the same as his siblings, you know? Um, but of course he'll be learning different things because he does have two homes. Um, so I don't think I will, just because those are the children that I created and came out of me, I don't think I'm gonna put them at a hierarchy over David, you know? Cause I think that's really messed up because you want to always make sure that your stepchild feels like they are part of the family and he is part of the family. It's not like, it's not like Joseph married me with kids and I married Joseph with David and they are step siblings. No, he is part of the family because he is blood siblings to my children, if that makes sense. Like no one can take away the fact that they're siblings. God forbid if Joseph and I ever split, they will still be, be siblings. You get what I'm saying? So I will try to make sure they understand that and they have that same thing. Like, cause I always realize if I, if I ever did something for my kids, I would make sure that, you know, David feels the same way or gets the same thing or, you know, I would try my best not to make sure, I wouldn't try my best to make sure no one feels like they're better than anybody because they're here all the time versus not, you know? I hope I made sense. I would definitely, definitely pray. That was an interesting question. Shout out to Claudia. Interesting topic. Um, you know, I, I would just continue to pray that the Lord shows favor and grace to me as a stepmother and show me how to operate as being a mom. Um, when that time comes, you know? and show me the balance of how to be a, a, a better stepmother when I actually do become a mother, you know? Um, yeah, because some people, they really, they really try to beat it into your head that you're not his mom, you're not his mom, you're not his mom, you're not a mom until you have your own. Okay, like that's literally all I can say is like, okay, I get it, okay. <laughs> Um, I just do the best that I can and I let Jesus lead me in being a stepmother. And yeah, so that's on that, on that, on that, on that. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go through her topics daily to see these next 20 days. Child, I got 20 more days till this thing is over. I started a new book. I'm diving. It's called Delighting in the Trinity, where I really get to understand and fall in love with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and how they all just play a role. Because some people don't like to acknowledge the Trinity, so. Okay, all right. So, yeah, all right. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Share, share, and share. I really appreciate you guys. If you share this video, with your friends, just share it to one person. I'd appreciate that. All right, love you guys. Jesus loves you most. See you tomorrow.